Hey guys, my name is Armando from Pro Climate. We are here right in Etobicoke today working on a snow melting project with our friend Michael from Army Electric. Let's walk you through it. So we are working on this driveway today. It's about 1,000 square feet. We are working on installing a radiant panel and then the our paired piping. The first step is laying down the panel and then the second step will be doing the third pipe uh, installation based on the loop design we have and then the th third pipe will be doing the pressure test. We're going to start with the pipe we're using in this project. We are using a Watts pipe made in US. This is not a normal PEX, this is a third pipe. It got five layer. So these pipes they made for snow melting. It's really important you're using the right pipe when you're doing the snow melting project. Next thing we want to talk about is the radiant panel. We are using an Anvic panel with a vapor barrier. This is a 45 PSI, three and a half inch panel, which we usually use for a driveway. It's really important using a right panel for a driveway. The lower PSI might cause the shrink in the driveway and it will cost you a lot of money to fix it. So on this project, we want to make sure we're using the right material. We're using a 40, 45 PSI radiant panel with a three and a half inch thickness. So we did our first loop of the third pipe close to the curb and the sidewalk. So we want to make sure we have a separate loop for the curb and the sidewalk. So by any chance in the future, if they want to do any repair or maintenance on the sidewalk or curb, so we have a separate line, we can easily eliminate that line so without having our system turn off. So the system can run without even having the sidewalk running. We're done for today. We'll shoot you another video when we're doing the inside and the boiler work and we'll keep you updated for our next project. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.